Hi there, this is Maggie from MapCreator speaking, and I would like to show you around in the MapCreator tool. Welcome. First of all, we start defining the area of the map that we are going to create by either zooming with the scroll function by using the buttons here on the right hand side, or by just writing a name of the location that you're going to make the map of. For example, I'm going to make a map of Chicago. Secondly, we can already start adding annotations such as icons via a drag and drop or text elements on the map. You have additional functions to make the icons smaller, rotate them, and change the color. If you're not sure about a certain address, you can use the second tab here in the middle to specify the desired spot. Next, we can add lines, curved lines, or routes on the map. By opening the styling menu, you have further options to change the color or the styling of the line to, for example, dashed. The routing function allows you to draw a route based on vehicle navigation data from location A to location B or even more. In the next tab, you have options to add shades, which can highlight a certain neighborhood, for example, postal code, or if we define the map a bit further, counties or city shapes. Again, if we open the styling menu, you can change the color of this shape and also the transparency. And if you use the layer feature you see here on the left hand side, you can take this element in order to place it below the streets. If we go back to the add function, apart from adding single polygons, as we call those areas, you can also add grouped areas for example, to add all the county boundaries, in this case of Illinois, to the map. If you want to style all of the polygons at once, we can activate this apply to all setting in order to change the color to this dark gray and only highlight certain counties. To clean up the map, you can go back to the layers overview in order to just remove elements that you've just added or hide them. In this menu, you can also remove certain layers which are not of relevance for this specific map that you're creating right now. For example, we can remove the names of these park names. If your map is ready to be downloaded, you can go to this last step where you can define the file type to be downloaded, the correct sizes in the required units, and just click on download. This downloaded file is now ready to be uploaded in your CMS, but you can also do further edits with Adobe Illustrator. If you would like this map to appear online, you can add interactivities to some of the icons that you added to the map. For example, we can add some further description of what kind of incident happened here at this location by going to this third tab and provide further information. From this point, you can also add images, videos, or refer to a different link. 
To see the interactive map, you just need to go to the export window and change the output type to web and hit the download button again. Which will give you an iframe and a link, which you can immediately check out. If you work with spreadsheets and you have a spreadsheet which contains address information, you can also import the spreadsheet to show a list of locations immediately with correct marker. I'm taking a spreadsheet now to drop it in the tool and it recognizes the latitude longitude information immediately and places a marker along with it. Again, you can download this map as a static image or for the colleagues who would like to have an interactive map for online, they can show the information from the spreadsheet inside of the interactivity pop-up. What you can do is activate the apply to all setting in order to show the information from the spreadsheet itself. Instead of SVG output type or any other static image, you just need to download the web output in order to receive the URL and an iframe. Once you're done mapping, you can save your project and give it a special name. And from here, you can access your previously created maps at any time if you just click on Open Project. If you want to start from scratch, just click on your project. We wish you happy mapping. Good luck.